is a high performer. If I want to see you in a year, I want to see you in two years, and I want to say that, hey, now I have engaged a high performer, what would be my standard for saying that you are a high performer? A high performer, first of all, you must seek clarity. First of all, you must be clear. So when you are having conversations, people must know who you are, what you, what you stand for, your message, your story, your narrative. Clear. They must not doubt it. It's not that, is she here or is she there? Can she communicate it? When you are, are clear about who it shows, it shows in the way you, you, your posture, it shows in your communication, it shows in your direction. People trust you because you become credible. So the key thing is a high performer must be clear, clear. Like I should be able to know you for you. Not because successful people are not always clear. They are successful, but they're not always clear. Second thing about a high performer is they must be able to generate their own energy when energy goes down. Because in a lot of times we we'll lose energy, we we'll lose steam. And Charlotte said it, what if the system, the, the situation you are working in doesn't allow you? Most of the time you want to give up. 80% of the time you want to give up because there's something that is stopping you from not achieving it. But they said that you as a high performer, the difference between you and others is that you change the, the strategy or you change the game. You find a way to put energy in what you're doing. Raise necessity. Necessity is why am I doing this again? This thing, there's a reason why I'm doing 10 predictors of success. I need to do this. So it doesn't matter how bad it is. I need it. I need it. I need it. That's what high performers do. They raise necessity. So in, in, in time of giving up, I say, no, 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 no. I'm not going to give up. I, I'm going to do this. I increase my productivity over others. So when others are producing, they think I'm a high productive person, my productivity is even higher. I develop influence. And just one more. In every situation, I demonstrate courage. So if I see you in a short while and we are having a conversation, I'll be able to gauge, is this person clear about themselves? Are they energetic about their dreams and their thoughts and their whatever they are saying? If there are blocks in their workplace, are they still able to demonstrate the courage it takes to be innovative and say that if all things come against me, I'll still sit through it? Then I'll say you're a high performer. So the three words that separate a successful person from a high performer is one, you would be better than the average person. Two, you will be consistent. And then three, it will go for your long term, meaning throughout your life. Whereby success can end at a certain point. You get successful and then you fall. So there's a big distinction between achievement and alignment. So a lot of us in life focus to achieve success. But that shouldn't be our focus. Because achievement will put you through a lot of pain and all those things. And probably when you get it, it's not enjoyable. But the idea of being a high performer is doing it over and over and consistent and I'm going. So as I'm doing it, I'm enjoying it. Not when I get there, I will enjoy. 